The Lifeform Male Catheterization Simulator is designed to duplicate the human condition as close as plastics technology allows. This video will assist users in the function, care, and maintenance of the simulator. Setup Hang the fluid administration set approximately 18 inches above the simulator. Ensure that the slide clamp is closed and fill the fluid administration set. To extend the useful life of your simulator, NASCO recommends using distilled water. Using the quick disconnect fitting, connect the fluid administration set to the simulator. To fill the simulated bladder inside, open both the slide clamp and the pinch clamp, allowing water to flow through, charging the system, and then close the pinch clamp on the drain tube. Your simulator is now ready to perform catheterization procedures. Performing a catheterization. Retain a water-safe basin or catheter bag to catch the water upon successful catheterization. Start by generously lubricating a 16 French silicone Foley catheter using the supplied Lifeform lubricant. In the normal hanging position, gently insert the lubricated catheter. Gently elevate the penis 60 degrees to straighten the urethra and proceed with insertion. The final restriction is the simulated sphincter when entering the bladder. Lower the penis and continue inserting. You will feel a slight pop as the catheter enters the bladder. Continue inserting until water flows from the catheter. Properly inflating and deflating the catheter. Special care should be taken when using a Foley catheter. Cuff inflation should only be attempted when it is in the proper position inside the bladder. The cuff must be completely deflated before the catheter is removed. A 20cc syringe will be needed for this procedure. The syringe shown is not supplied. Follow the procedures before performing a catheterization. To restrict the flow of water when inflating the cuff, slide the clamp closed on the fluid administration set. Connect the 20cc syringe to the threaded end of the catheter, ensuring the syringe is pulled back and filled with air. Depress approximately 10 cc's of air into the catheter to fill the cuff. Gently tug on the catheter to determine proper inflation. Pull back on the syringe, completely deflating the cuff before removing the catheter. Draining the simulator. Perform this procedure near a sink or with a water-safe basin. Slide the clamp closed on the fluid administration set. Disconnect the quick disconnect fittings. Turn the simulator over onto its plastic base. Elevate the simulator and place the tubes in a water-safe basin or sink. Open the pinch clamp on the drain tube and allow the water to drain from the simulator's tubes. Clearing obstructions using the obstruction tool. Generously lubricate the obstruction tool and insert it into the urethra following the same catheterization procedures. Remove and reapply lubricant as needed until the obstruction tool is able to enter the bladder. Follow this procedure by flushing the system with warm water to clear the built up lubricant. Thank you for watching this instructional video. If you have any further questions, please consult the instruction manual provided with your simulator. If you need a replacement manual, you can find it in the NASCO website under product number LF00855U, Male Catheterization Simulator, or by emailing NASCO at lifeform at enasco.com.